Now, today I'm going to talk to you this after the call. The power and the dominion of the Most High God. The power and the dominion of the Most High God. The Most High God, God is um, the Most High God. He has power and the dominion over every works of the enemy, over everything. He has dominion. God is God, the power of God, God of the, uh, the power, the power and dominion of the Most High God. The same power God has given us, the, God has given us power and dominion over every animal, every enemy, and the powers of darkness. Now, His power, His power, His holy power is God. Is God, there's things that human beings cannot do, but God is able to do. The Bible says in the book of Psalms, 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 17, Psalms 97, verse 1 to 12, we are going to look in the scripture from the book of Psalms 97, 1 to 12. The power and the dominion of the Most High God, the God of Almighty, the God of heaven. The Bible says, The Lord reigns. Let the heart rejoice. Let many high Islands be glad. You know, the, the Lord lends, let the heart rejoice. Read the heart. You know the heart where we live. They rejoice. And, they, and let many Islands be glad. You know, the Lord reigns and the heart rejoice. That is the power of the whole Almighty God, the Most High God, because He is 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 the, is the owner of this heart. It, it takes dominion and rule and everything. They have to rejoice. If the, even if you don't rejoice to God, even if you are angry with God, there is uh, there is His creature, His own creature. They will rejoice because is 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 His is His Father. Everything they rejoice. They are happy because it is God who created. It's God who created the heart and put the people inside. So if people, they don't want to rejoice to God, God, the heart itself will rejoice. And the Iceland, Iceland will, will be glad. The Bible says, and the Bible says, crowds and the thick darkness surrounding. You, you know, the crowds and the thick darkness surround him. Crowd and the thick darkness surround him. Righteous and the justice are the foundation of his throne. Righteous and, and righteous and the justice are the foundation of his throne. You know righteousness and the justice are the foundation of his throne. God is a God of justice. God is a God of righteousness. God is a God of justice. His, his justice are the foundation of his throne. God is a God of justice. He will never never leave you alone let he, he will never he will never forsake you or leave you because he's a god of justice when you look at the, his dominion his power how god of heaven is justice god so god is so justice that he doesn't have any racism he doesn't have any discrimination he doesn't have any favoritism he doesn't god does not have it does god does not respect of any any person God is not a respect of any person. God is good and is righteous. You know, is righteous, is righteous, is righteous, is righteous, and the, and the justice are the foundation of his, of, of his throne. You, you see how, how wonderful God is. When you look at the, the, our God, at the most high God, how he is, he has built the foundation with the justice. So God is, God is a justice God. And that, that's why you have to appeal God of justice. If people are, are, are accusedly, uh, falsely accusing you, if people are, take, are ganging together against you, remember the justice, the foundation of justice of God in heaven because he has built this foundation with justice. And when, the justice, God, God, when, God, when God works with this justice, no human being, will defeat the justice of God. No smart lawyers, no clever judge on heart will defeat the justice of God. They can use every witchcraft, every power, but the justice of God stands forever and firm. It has never changed. The fire goes before him and burn up his adversaries, his adversaries around about. You know, 
the 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 the, the fire the fire goes before him the fire of god god is a consuming fire god is fire himself the, the, the bible says god is a consuming fire and the god is is fire himself it's fire it, it, the fire goes before him and the burn of his enemies and the burn of his only enemies around him so all the enemies because god has enemy lucifer turned himself to become enemy now when Lucifer turned himself to become enemy, so what he did, God, he got to consume them. God, God, his fire just come before him and burn anything that is in front of him. The Bible says that his his lightnings lit up the world. They had so and trembled. The mountain melted like a, like like fox at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord of the of the whole heart. The heaven declare his righteousness, and all the people have seen his glory. Let those who let all those be shamed who are who serve even who serve graven image, who post themselves of idols, worshiping all you gods. Zion hear this and was glad, and the daughters of Judea have rejoiced because of your church, your judgment, your judgments. Oh Lord, for you are a God, oh, for you are God most high over all the heart. You are exalted ab far above all gods. Hate evil, you you who have the Lord, who preserve the soul of his co uh, go uh, godly ones. He delivered them from the hands of the wicked. God deliver God deliver them from the hands of the wicked. Light is is sown like like a seed for the righteous, and a gladness for the upright in heart. Be glad in the Lord, you righteous one, and give thanks to His holy one, and give thanks to His holy one. So the 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 power, the power and the dominion of the Most High. They are the power. That go before your enemies. That that power go before the enemies and consume them and destroy them and cut them into pieces. The power of the Most High God. That the dominion because God takes dominion. God's power goes before Him and is destroy every enemies, every works of darkness, all evil that has been programmed into your life into the life of your children and your and, and your ministry anywhere you go you know the bible says that that the fire goes before him so the, because god is a consuming fire he, he always use fires to destroy the enemies to destroy the works of the enemies he uses so many methods that's why his dominion his power is not like us but he has given he has given us power and authority against every works of the devil every works of the enemy and you see god is covered god is covered with the dark ground now the enemy is using to do you against you to cover you with the dark ground because god is covered with the dark ground so now the enemy is using that dark ground to cover you to cover your heaven so that you don't see anything you know when God is walking, he, he, the, the dark cloud is God who, who created. God created that cloud for, for his glory, for him to use for his purpose. But the devil has taken the dark cloud to cover your heaven, to cover your head, so that you don't see anything. But God says he will go before him. The fire will go before him and clear away and burn to ashes. Any evil that is that is before him and that is before you and 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 all your all of your works in Jesus' name. In in Psalms, in Psalms, in Psalms 21, verse 7 to 9, the Bible says, For the kings trust in the Lord, and, and through the loving kindness of the most high, he will not be shaken. The kings trust in the Lord. And through the loving kindness of the Most High, he will not be shaken. He will not be shaken. Your hands will find out all your enemy. Your right hand will find out those who hate you. You will make them as fairer oven in the, in the time of your anger. 
the Lord will swallow them up in his wrath, and the free and the fire will devour them. You know, the most high is a loving, a loving, kind God, and the God is good to everyone. But God, as you remember the what the, we read about Psalms. The, those who worship the image, those who turn themselves to worship the image, the kings, they trust on God and they live and they, and they believe the God has um, chosen them, God has anointed them, God has called them to rule the nation. Now, the most, the mo because of the most high God, then God will destroy their enemies. God will destroy every enemy that is rising up against any king, any leader that is ruling, that is being ordained by God. And the king who follow God, the kings and rulers and president who love God, who follow God, God will fight for them. Our very enemies. That's why you could see David was winning the battle all the time when he was going to war because he, he understood about God. He loves God and is the one who wrote this scripture. Now, God, kings trust God and the love and loving kindness of God fall upon them. Anywhere, any country who respect God, who honor God, that country will be a blessing. They will be a blessing in that country. Any moment when the country or the president or the leader of the nation rebels, then there's problem in that country. What is God is saying that he will, he will, he, his right hand will find out all the enemies. His right hand will find all the enemies. You can't hide. You can't hide. Because the, 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 the light hand will find all the enemies. And, and the, right, the light hand will find all, out those who hate you. The right hand will find out those who hate you. Those who hate you, those who are in dark, who are speaking evil against you, who are going to pray, who put a lot of curses on you, the right hand of God will find them. That is how powerful, that is the, the power and dominion of God. That is the, that's how the power of the, the, the power and dominion of God of the most high, that's how it works. The right hand will find your enemies. The right hand of God will find your enemies and those who hate you. You will make them, God himself will make them the very, very often in the time of, 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 of anger. When God is angry, God, God, God is angry. When you see the, the person, when you see people turning themselves to worship idols, to call the, the witches, to call the evil against you, they sacrifice to the idols. One time God called, uh, uh, God called uh, 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 Ezekiel and told Ezekiel, Ezekiel, I want to show you what the, the people, what the elders, the elders of Israel, what they are doing. And the God opened the war uh, and, and saw, and, 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 uh, and Ezekiel saw what the elders of Israel were doing. 72 elders. They were worshiping idols and they were doing things in darkness. When Moses, when, when Ezekiel see what, what, what those people were doing, he was shocked. And then God told him, my right hand has found them and I will kill them. I will destroy them. So God is going to destroy every wicked, every evil. That are those who hate you for no reason. All the wicked and evil, the Lord will destroy him. The Lord will destroy them. Only if you only focus, you are focused God and believe him and trust him. That like the, what the Bible says, for the kings trust in the Lord. And although through the loving kindness of the most high, he will not be shaken. God will not forsake you. God will never forsake you or leave you. The Bible says, David says in, in Psalms 37, verse 25, I am I was young and now I'm old, yet I've never seen anyone being shaken for, for second from God or beg, begging bread or a student begging bread. So God will never forsake you or leave you or begging or or your children begging bread. It is sin when you beg. It is sin when you 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 borrow to eat. It is sin that that's not right. So God will never leave you 
God will help you. God will stand with you and destroy every enemy standing against you. The light hand of God will find them and will destroy them. The God of heaven who is a consuming fire will consume your enemy and bring them down in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of uh, Micah, Micah, the book of Micah, 5 verse 9, the Bible says, Your right hand will lift up against your enemies, and all your enemies will be cut off. The right hand, the, the, the left hand, you know, God will find your enemies with the, the right hand. Now the left hand of God will, 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 will cut off all your enemies. They will cut them off. That's why when you have these dreams, that you have bad dreams, seeing people, seeing things in the dreams, let the left hand of God cut them to pieces. You use the left hand of God and let them cut them. That's why you say, God of heaven, cut them, destroy them, burn them, destroy them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yesterday, we were talking with my, one of my dear daughter and the sister, Tresha. I talk, she told me about her dreams. I, I reversed her dream. I, I cast it. And, uh, and, uh, and it was okay. It was okay. It was, she was all right. She, she didn't have any problem. And then after, after like 10 minutes time, I saw a text message telling me that she's been taken to hospital. Her blood pressure is so high. And her lung, her lung, her lung is going to be corrupt. It's going to, to, to corrupt because it is serious. So they want they, they, they call for, for ambulance for her. But unfortunately, she called the, the dad. The dad was nearby. So the, the, her, uh, uh, her dad rushed her to a hospital. And after that, I know that she's not going to die. Nothing is going to happen to her. That was the enemy. And the enemy has to be, to be put a stop. And that is how she could have died if she did not... If, if, we, if, we, if, if we did not take action about our dreams. She had a dream. She saw a crocodile. And this crocodile, I can't remember what she said about, but the crocodile was about to hit her or was, was something to do with her, her life. This is what happened. Tresha, you are in the prayer line. Yesterday, after we talked, she was in the prayer line. After a short time, like 10 minutes, something happened to her. And then her temperature went so high. And then when she went to the emergency, they found that the, the, the lung, the, her lung is almost corrupt. Now, the, the, you know, the doctor has to give her very, the worst report to scare her. But because of the prayer, because of the prayer, that's how people die like that. They will, they, they will die and, and go to hellfire or to, to die a certain death like that. Now, when you dream, any dream you have, don't take for granted. Just the counsel will cut them off. You know the Bible says your right hand will, will be lifted up against your enemies and all your enemies will be cut off. Enemies can come anytime in your dreams, in your, in, 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 in your vision and come to attack you and destroy you because they are there, they will come suddenly and destroy you completely. So what you do, you take action. You don't take anything for granted. Wherever you see something which is abnormal, which is, normal, which is abnormal, which is unusual, don't take it for granted. Just cut them off. Ask the light hand of God, light, left hand of God, ask the Holy Ghost fire, ask God of heaven to destroy them. Yes, Tresha, thank you. Yes, Tresha, yesterday, she could have gone to, to be with the God. Yesterday, she, she nearly died. Not accident. <laughs> she had a very severe pain in the chest, and the temperature was very high. She nearly died. But God restored her health back. And that, that is why prayer is very important. If she did not know that this deliverance prayer, today we could have... <laughs> send the condolence but God is good <laughs> thank you sister thank you thank you God is good now that's why the power and the dominion of God of the most high God it, it, God can never never leave you or forsake you the wicked they plan schemes they plan evil 
but God is watching them. The, the Bible says God, the, the light hand will find them and, and destroy them. Uh, Psalms, Psalms 2 verse 9, the Bible says, You shall break them with the rod of, of iron. You shall scatter them like earth wire. You know, God love at the enemy. When the enemy is planning evil and wicked, God love at them. Says, what are you doing? You know that is my daughter, that is my son. You are, what are you planning against him? I love him, he's my son. Then God love at him. And, and then he will use, he will use, he will use the rod. He will break them. He will come with fire, with the consuming fire and, and devour your enemies. That's why you need to make God as your personal savior and, 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 and love of everything. Hallelujah. Now, Psalms 89, verse 21 to 22. The, Psalms 81, verse 21 to 23. The Bible says, With whom my, my hand will be established, my hand also will strengthen him. The enemy will not devour him, nor the son of wicked affect him. Be, but I shall cross his, his enemy before him and strike those who hate, hate him. You know, this is very clear. That's why you need to know spiritual warfare prayer. The Bible says, with whom my hands will establish, my hand will strengthen him. The enemy will not deceive him. The enemy will not deceive him. You know, the enemy will not deceive you. The enemy will not deceive you. This is, God was talking about David. David, God was talking about David. God says, the enemy will not deceive David, my son. David, my anointed one, the, my, my, my own heart. You know, David was weak, was, was, was a sinner like anybody. But he, he was a heart of repenting and obedience to God. And he was worshiping God. He was doing everything to God. He was sacrificed to God. He was giving to God. He was doing everything. Now, because of that, God told, said, no an enemy will not deceive you. Every enemy that wants to deceive you, to, 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 to affect you, the Lord will crush him in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will crush, will crush every enemy that wants to deceive you. Every enemy that wants to deceive you, God will crush them into pieces. God will cut them into pieces. This is what the Bible says. But I shall crush you. You, you are adversaries. I will crush your enemies before him and strike those who hate you. God will crush your enemies and strike those who hate you. Anyone that hates you, anyone that is deceiving you, God will crush them into pieces in Jesus' name. That's how God is so powerful. The power, the power of God and dominion. God will crush your enemies and every enemy that come to deceive you, God will crush you. That's why the Bible says in Psalms, in Psalms 37, verse 30 to 31, to, to, to 31. Yes, if you see, the Bible says God will not let enemies in his hand. God will, let, God will not let your enemies in, in his hand. God will deliver you and remove you. I saw something was yesterday almost happen. The enemy was deceiving me. I went to, 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 to look, there was a document that I wanted to sign before it mails to the government. And then this person, he, he was like, he was just trying to deceive me, uh, rushing me, uh, rushing me speedily, tell me, sign quickly, sign this document, sign, we want to mail it, it is late, you have to sign, then I will explain late. Now, when he was, he was like rushing me, trying to deceive me and blinding me, but I am very discerning person, very sensitive in discerning. Now, because I know the enemy would never deceive me. He would try, but God would deliver me. You know, he, he, when he was rushing me, blinding me with words so that I can sign wrong things. Now, and after signing that document, that is the end. I will destroy myself or I will pay him more than, than what I am supposed to pay. Now I told him, no, 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 no. I'm not going to sign. I have to see everything I want to sign so that it can be well with you and me. I don't know why. Why do you want me to sign and you mail things that I have not seen? And then that is how I stopped that storm or disaster or the, pro the problem. 
after that then he changed he said oh my computer something uh, i i wanted to print so that that's why i said i told you to sign then i can print i, I mail it i said no things that we don't work like that we don't work like that we need to sign something that i know these things is 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 it is, is what i sign is is true i trust you but i'm not going to trust you everything I cannot trust, yes, I trust you, but I cannot trust you, especially these things, government document. I will never do that. I will kill myself or I will put myself in problem. Now, many people, they are blindly deceived by the enemy because they, 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 they allow the enemy to deceive them. You will never be deceived. One pastor is very great and jealous. He is he, preaching prosperity. Now he was telling his members, most of his, his members, to give him a will. That that give me a will. That my name in your will. All everything. And he, he talked nice. He, he deceived people. He prayed for them. He, he felt like everyone. He, he deceived them. He deceived them. Then then poor people, because they trust the pastor, the pastor will go and, and they put a will in his name. Now this pastor will try to kill the person to take everything. And that is what he has been doing. Many, many, many people in, in this congregation, they die all, all, I don't know how he do. And that is what it, and people, they, are, they have no idea. You know, the Bible says many will use my name. Many will come to me and use my name. But the last day I will tell them I don't know them. There are a lot of judges, pastors, they have turned themselves using the Bible, using the word of God, but they are wizards, they are witches. All the witches have turned to church because they know church is a big it's a big business. Now, because they know church is a big, big business, and many people, they are running to the church, to the pastor, to the prophet, thinking they are going to help them. And then these witches, they are there, they deceive them and blind them and make them that they, they don't know anything because they put spells on them and chains. If you, if you can go and view my videos about gents, about spells, you will never be deceived. You will never be deceived. So you have to be careful. The Bible has said, God has said, he will, you, no one will deceive you. You will not be deceived. This, this scripture about deceiving, you can go and check and do research. There is a lot of problem, uh, scripture promise you that God will not let you to be deceived. So when you are deceived, then you enter into the sin, it is your problem. It's, the pro it's not the problem of God. God has protected you. Remember, when God created Adam and Eve, he told them very well, don't eat the, the fruits. I've told you because there's consequences of eating these fruits. Then the devil was listening. He went to, he went to them and started talking with the woman. And the woman looked at the fruit. He saw it's good. He eat, she ate the fruit and then he gave it to her husband. After eating the fruits, what happened? The consequences was there. Now, God has promised that don't ever, don't allow anybody to deceive you. Don't allow the devil to deceive you. And God has said, Every temptation has a way out. Many people who are being deceived, they pay dearly, dearly consequences. So I pray that in the name of Jesus Christ, anyone, anybody, wherever they are in the world, anywhere, in the name of Jesus, any spirit of deceiving, let them be destroyed. Let them be landed powerless and landed powerless in Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says in 2 Thessalonians 7, Verse 1 to 9, the Bible says, And to you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in framing fire, taking vengeance on them that know not God and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall be punished with the everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. You know, Jesus, when Jesus will come, Je when Jesus will come from heaven, Jesus is not going to come alone. He will come with his angels. This is very clear picture. You have to see and fear the Lord and love him. The Bible says, and to, and to you who are troubled, troubled, rest with the hearts. When the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels, in framing fire, taking vengeance on them that do not know God, taking vengeance, 
taking vengeance to those who does not know God. Those, those who does not know God, they are the ones who are called deceivers. They are witchcraft. They are evil. They are enemies. They don't know God. They don't know Jesus. And now when Jesus will come with the, that devouring fire, the Bible says, the Bible says, <laughs> because they didn't obey the, 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 the gospel of our Lord Jesus, the Bible says, verse, verse 9, who shall be banished with the everlasting and destruction from the presence of the Lord? They will be punished everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of the power of God. Therefore, people of God, you love God. Don't let the world to, to, to destroy you. Don't allow yourself to be deceived and you miss the blessings of God. You know, God of justice, God of justice, his foundation is building with the foundation. The foundation of God is filled by justice and righteousness. God will never forsake you. God will never leave you. God will never, never, never let you go. If you love him, if you have given your life to him and you are doing the right thing, God will fight your enemy. God will come against every enemy. God will take dominion and, and his power against your enemies. They, God himself will destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm going to pray for you and then God Almighty will see you through in Jesus' name. Lord, God will locate and destroy by fire every charms, hence spells, chants, manipulation and witchcraft working against your life, working against you. The Lord Almighty will locate and destroy every spells, every charms, every manipulation and witchcraft working against your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Any spells and wicked powers of darkness will not locate you in Jesus' name. Any evil, people of God, believe, believe the word of God. Believe that God is, is working and is able and is so powerful. In the mighty name of Jesus, you have to take dominion over those germs, chants, witchcraft, powers of darkness against your life. Take dominion. Don't fear them. Take dominion. The dominion, take authority against them and cross them. Destroy them. Destroy them. Stand against them. That you have been, you fear, you have been attacked, you have been sick, you, are, you have been going through some difficult finances. It is all the works of darkness. God has blessed us. God has said he will never for, forsake us and he will never leave us. He's a justice God. He's, for, he's, he's, he's justice is righteous and justice is foundation is his foundation in, in the throne of God. So therefore, people of God, God would destroy and bind out and set fire against spells, chants, and every witchcraft working against you and your life in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost fire flow through these people and destroy every demonic personality and plantation in the, in your life in Jesus' name. Let Holy Ghost fire, because God is a consuming God, is a consuming fire. Let him flow through anything, any personality, any human being, anyone that is working against you. Let the, let the Holy Ghost fire consume, consume them in Jesus' name. Yes, thank you, Jesus. God, I want to thank you. Lord, my Father. I want to praise your name. I pray that God Almighty to remove your, your name from evil wrist, from the wrist of satanic wrist, satanic witchcraft wrist. They have wristed you for evil. Let Holy Ghost fire burn that wrist and remove your name from, from that wrist, your name and the name of your children in Jesus' name. You know, this is what happened to people and they, are, they, are, they, are, they have no idea what the enemy is doing. They, will, they have a wrist. And they know this is what is going to happen. You said that this is the fire. Some people, they are lucky. We thank God. Let, they are lucky, yes. We thank God. But the enemy is working day and night. He doesn't rest. He wants to see that he has deceived people. He has put people in troubles. He, he, make, he is working so hard to deceive people and destroy them. That's why he's carrying the wrist and the check to see who is going to devour, who is going to destroy, who is going, he is going to strike. But by the power and the blood of Jesus, let that wrist catch fire and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. Every demonic personality following you around, 
around. I commanded them to be arrested and, and catch fire and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. I bind every sorcerer, diviner, smoter, uh, necronomers, false prophets, sakek, and witches, and the witch doctors hired to do you harm in Jesus' name. I destroy them. I dismantle and destroy every monitoring spirit and evil eyes monitoring you in Jesus' name. By the power and the blood of Jesus, I command every curse of almost there, but never there be broken and destroyed in Jesus' name. Every satanic traffic agents the, uh, diverting good things from you be paralyzed in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, my God and my Father, I commit your people into your hand. I preach the blood of Jesus over their life in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I want to thank you, my God and my Father, in the name of Jesus. I bless your name. I bless you, God, in the name of Jesus. Every fetish material in the ground, in the dreams, in the demonic altar, in the sky, in, in, the con in, in a container, in, the, in a container, on a on shelf, be roasted, be roasted by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I want to thank you. Lord, I want to bless your name. I give you all the glory. I give you all the honor. God, I give the glory and honor. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Jesus, I commit your people into your hand. I praise your name, God. I give you all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray every satanic roadblock in, your, in the place where you are working, in the place where you are living, in your community, in your society, let those roadblocks to be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. You know the enemy is good in putting roadblocks that you cannot go anywhere. When they are spiritual roadblock, they put you that you cannot go anywhere. Let that roadblock to catch fire and set fire and burn to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I want to thank you. I bless your name. Any roadblock, anything that the enemy is planning against you, against your, against your children, your family, let them catch fire and burn to ashes in Jesus' name. God is a consuming fire. And we use the fire of God all throughout the, our prayers because God is, is fire. You use fire. You use fire because you see fire go before him and consume your enemies. That's why we are using a lot of fire than any other, other prayers. God, the Bible, when you look at that Psalms we read, the Bible says the fire go before him, before God. God is God is pretty fire. God can breathe fire from the mouth of, of God, the fire will come and consume the enemies. So we ask God, because it's a fire, to burn every roadblock, every evil, every powers of darkness. Let the fire of God consume them. Let the fire of God burn them to ashes. Let the, the enemies that is traveling you, let the fire of God burn them to ashes. Every satanic dream that has whirling you, traveling you, let the fire of God consume them and they melt them and destroy them in Jesus' name. The, the sickness, diseases that is in your body affecting you, the affliction, let the fire of God melt them and burn them to ashes in Jesus' name. All the pain that you are going through, let the fire of God burn them to melt them in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, I believe the blood of Jesus over your body. Let the blood of Jesus wash your body, wash you, refi uh, renew you in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus renew your mind. Let the blood of Jesus wash your vision. Let the blood of Jesus wash your vision in the mighty name of Jesus. God, I want to thank you. I thank you for your the, for your people, God. I pray, God, my Father, let God protect you, protect your family in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. I want to thank God. I have to stop here. God bless you. Have a wonderful day or evening in your time. See you tomorrow, 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. God will help you in Jesus' name. Invite your followers. Invite your people, uh, friends. And tomorrow, you can join us on the radio and the popcorn and prayer conference, prayer, prayer line. In, give your give your friends and let them also do, do, do know these prayers. Thank you very much. God bless you. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Sigi, saying bye 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 bye. And if you you if this prayer is blessing you, you can go to our website to donate. And we need your offering. You can give us offering 
to do I need offering to help your, the children to help people who need who need help and with I thank you so much thank you for standing with us thank you for for our partner thank you our the, the father of the house uh, my dear brother brother Samuel thank you so much for standing with us thank you thank you and the rest of you who have been with me and standing with us uh, and and following us I thank you so much and I, if you need prayer